Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video, doing Jamie Friday for today's first video. So as always on a Friday, we've got your month head look ahead. We're going to see what the Japanese and CFS VG models have to say about the weather for the next four weeks, taking us into the first half of September. So I'll get on, that, get on with that for you very shortly, just to say that coming up later on, uh, today we're going to have your week to 10 day video updates including all object features and uh, we'll also have a look at the late uh, summer bank holiday weekend that's going to be uh, with you this evening and we'll start to include a few festivals and events and things like that uh, within that video as well. But starting us off this Jam A Friday, so we're going to begin with the uh, 500 millibar height anomaly flow charts from the uh, Arctic view down. So this is the Arctic up here. We've got the middle latitudes just here. Uh, so 500 millibars, 8 thousand feet an area in the absolute high pressure and low pressure are being moved around by the jet stream running above. Red, orange and yellow extrapolates to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. So these are broken down into week periods. The first week period will take us from the 16th through to 23rd of August. The coming week looks unsettled with below average heights centred over... And to the north and west of the country with the JMA, and that means that we're bringing in this uh, westerly wind uh, just here. Got a little bit of high pressure sitting up to the north as well, so a bit of a northern blocking signal. Just looks rather unsettled in the weekend. You'd expect showers, if not the risk of some longer spells of rain. All change for week two. This takes us from the 23rd to the 30th of August with above average heights building back quite nicely over the UK and across northern parts of Europe as well. The jet stream is moved northwards, so that will bring us a spell of that pretty settled, quite dry and warm uh, summer weather there as we go through the final week of August. Summer coming back for the last week of August, perhaps. And then we're through to weeks three and four, and we're looking like this. It's taking us from the 30th of August to the 13th of September. We have above average heights sitting to our north and also to our east northeast. There's a very small trough of below average heights there, uh, just to the west of the Bay of Biscay. Otherwise, not much else going on. Um, I think what could be happening here is that it's a bit transitional. So the jet stream is coming across the Atlantic into the west of Europe like that. Uh, week three, so that would be the first week of September, possibly still dominated by quite a lot of high pressure. But by the time you get through to week four, uh, which will be the second week of September, of course, maybe breaking the high pressure down and going more unsettled. And so gradually over time, that high pressure recedes back to the east of the northeast. Remember, with a two-weekly anomaly, there can always be transitions uh, going on like that. So possibly going uh, more unsettled the further into September we go. It would, however, be relatively warm through the first half of September with this, because we would bring that wind from a southerly or potentially even southeast direction before eventually, maybe, uh, by the second week of September anyway, winds turning into west, and then, of course, that would be uh, a cooler direction. Let's have a look at the tropical and mid-latitude uh, view in terms of temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next couple of weeks. So again, this is 500 millibar height anomaly for week one, taking us from the 16th to the 23rd of August, UK and Ireland in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. So again, the coming week is looking unsettled. We'll average heights over to the west of the country and bring the jet stream rather like that. Temperature anomalies are rather cool. It's going to be a relatively cool week coming up. Close to average for Scotland, a little bit cooler than average elsewhere. So rather disappointing temperatures. Precipitation anomalies are uh, looking like this. So rather unsettled, particularly so interestingly for the north and for the south. There's a slice of drier conditions from the central part of the country uh, for some reason. Overall, it's quite an unsettled and relatively cool week uh, ahead. Then we go through to week two, which is all change. It's the 23rd to the 30th of August, and of course it's bringing back high pressure. So the UK is uh, just there. That high pressure does extend off, of course. I didn't say but you can't see the North Pole and the Arctic. That's off the chart up here, and Scandinavia is as well. 
Um, but we know from the uh, sort of uh, Arctic view down that we are building this high pressure over the UK and it's also going northwards and also northeastwards as well. So just a large area of high pressure just taking over across much of northern Europe. Therefore, we go warmer. Temperature anomalies go above average, especially so for northern parts of the country. But all places are forecast to be uh, warmer than average uh, there. And the precipitation, I mean, of course, if high pressure taking over, it turns much drier, so drier than average um, from the 23rd to 30th of August. If the German is right, this is going to be uh, summer returning for the last week of August. We shall see about that. And then we go through to uh, weeks three and four. It's the 30th of August to the 13th of September. So you can see the above average heights here across central parts of Europe. They also extend north, in towards Scandinavia, just to our northeast, just here. And they go even further north into that sort of area. Just a little area of below average heights there. It's very difficult to make it out. Overall, it looks like high pressure is dominating much of this two week period. But it could be starting to get a little bit more unsettled later on, perhaps. Temperature anomalies are looking like this from the 30th of August to the 13th of September. Overall, still a little bit on the warmer than average side, although it isn't as warm in week three and four as it is in week two. Notice it's actually a bit cooler than average there uh, to ourselves southwest in the Atlantic. Uh, precipitation on is going a bit more unsettled uh, as well, so you actually going a little bit above average with a precipitation anomaly for the, for the two weeks. So this does imply, I think, there's a definite Definite hints of a breakdown as we go into September. Of course, the question is, how early in September does that happen? Will we manage to draw out a week of dry and warm weather through the first week of September? Or will actually this breakdown occur quite quickly? It could do um, occur quite quickly. And then the first half of September, we'd be looking at quite unsettled conditions. Well, that's what JMA is showing today. Let's have a look at CFSV2 in comparison. So, again, these are 500 millibar heights, and so they're broken down into weekly pairs. The first weekly pair takes us from the 16th to the 22nd of August. The uh, coming week is unsettled with below average heights over to the northwest of the country. We're bringing in the west southwesterly winds. So, again, we're looking at an unsettled week this week. Uh, there will be showers on the spells. May maybe transition into something a bit drier later, but overall quite unsettled, especially to start off with. Uh, that's week two. All change again. Very much in agreement with what JMA has shown. This is the 23rd, 29th of August. Big area of above average heights builds over not just the UK, but most of Central Northern Europe as well. Jet stream will be pushed off like that. So we're looking at lots of dry and warm weather there for the last full week of August. And we're into week three, and we start to see that area of above average heights just beginning to recede back into sort of eastern parts of Europe, below average heights developing out to the west of the UK, and Ireland missing the 30th of August to 5th of September, of course. And uh, high pressure again sort of back in towards Greenland and the far north of the Atlantic, that sort of area. So again, with this, we're bringing back the jet stream, we're turning things more unsettled through the opening days of August, possibly even the last days of, through, through the opening days of September, I should say, but possibly even through the final days of August. So we're turning things more unsettled Certainly through the early days of September, possibly uh, 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 late August, going a bit more unsettled too. And low pressure will bring showers along as well as rain in off the Atlantic there. Uh, then we go through to week four, which is going to be the 6th to the 12th of September. Above average heights still sit across eastern and northeast parts of Europe, also extending back in towards northern blocking. So quite a big sort of northern blocking feature getting going there from Greenland to Scandinavia. Trough of below average heights out to our west. This looks quite unsettled to me. Uh, this will bring showers, if not longer spells of rain here from for the second week of September. It would be relatively warm, I would have thought, probably bring wind up from the, from the south. Um, but it does look pretty unsettled, that, I have to say. So maybe hints of an unsettled uh, September here, or an unsettled first half to September. Anyway, possibly not what a lot of people were expecting to see, because everybody seemed to expect September to be a very dry and be very dry and warm, especially in the first half. But it's not necessarily the case. And 
I've spoken about this in the videos quite a bit over the past few weeks. We have had much more variability in September. I may talk about this in today's second video. We have had a little bit more variability in September over the past decade than we did in the previous decade. Maybe that's something I'll talk about in uh, today's second video. But it certainly isn't the case that every September is always dry and warm. But September does generally favour dry warm conditions, but it is not always the case. Uh, so the temperature anomaly, back to, that's just off in on a tangent, back to business. Temperature anomaly from the 16th, 22nd of August, a bit cooler than average in week air, JMA. So if both in agreement with that, then it goes warmer than average, obviously, in week two, which is the 23rd to 29th of August. That's warmer than average week as that big area of high pressure builds up. Week three is also warmer than average. It's the 30th of August, 5th of September. Um... A little bit closer to average, but generally still on the above average side. And then week four is also warm and average. So no problems with temperatures here as we get into the first half of September. Uh, looks relatively uh, relatively warm. Uh, precipitation anomalies finally. So the 16th, 22nd of August, wetter than average in the north and west. And wise close to average rest of us. Then the high pressure build. So goes dry than average in week two. 23rd to 29th of August. That's coming out drier than average. Uh, week three is close to average. Uh, close to average with precipitation there from 30th of August, 5th of September. And then week four possibly hints at being a little bit wetter than average, uh, if anything, close to the UK. So possibly hints at being a bit wetter than average through those areas. Interestingly, you'll notice that um, in uh, the Caribbean, so sort of this area here, uh, week, uh, let's go to week one. Uh, so looking relatively dry, actually, through the Caribbean. Not much sign of tropical storm activity there. And also in uh, week two, there's very little sign that things are coming out of the tropical Atlantic in towards the Caribbean. Still looking relatively dry, if anything. Week three also looks largely dry uh, through much of that sort of area. And week, uh, that's week four. Week three and week four, both looking relatively dry there. So still, um, even into kind of like um, second week of September, very little sign of activity in, in the tropical Atlantic in terms of these, uh, in terms of tropical storms or things like that. So the quiet start to the 2019 hurricane season could continue if the CFS is right, perhaps. Anyway, back closer to home. So unsettled, relatively cool, quite unsettled uh, to start off with. Both models are agreeing about that. Uh, then a warmer, drier interlude for the final week of August. Um, have to say there are indications that that's in a bit of trouble within the shorter range model output. So if you haven't seen the shorter range model output yet, um, wait for today's uh, second video update. We'll talk about that uh, then. But even the drier, warmer spell in the final week of August could be in a little bit of trouble now. Uh, and then it looks like both models want to turn things more unsettled as we move into September. No problems with temperatures at this stage for early September, but certainly hints there that uh, after a drier interlude at the end of August, early September will probably go uh, quite a bit more unsettled. We shall see. Remember, it's just a snapshot. These um, models are uh, very experimental. They're prone to large um, variations that could all look completely different next week. Just a snapshot of what the JMA and the CFS V2 are showing today. That's it then. With that later on with your uh, week to 10 day video update. I mean, tonight we'll have another detailed look at the late summer bank holiday weekend, which is only now uh, just over a week away. That's all for now, Vern. Thanks for watching.